going on, everybody? My name is Zayden, and you're at Reap What You Sow Garden. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my whole entire greenhouse. Let's do this. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and hitting that nice like button. That helps me and my channel grow heaps, and I really appreciate your help. Now, back to the video. Okay, so the first plant when you walk in, or not when you walk in, this is where you used to walk in. There is nice pineapple plant. I made a video or a YouTube short and a video on how to grow pineapple plants. And from the tops of the pineapple at a grocery store. Um, and yeah. Whoa! You can check the video out if you want, but if you're interested, of course. But look at that bug. Now, I'm not going to get too close, I'm just going to zoom up to it. Maybe drag a rope near it. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, that thing! They call those, I think, uh, dragon centipedes? I think that's a sat Satan centipede, because that thing is, that thing is creepy and that thing, I don't like it. I don't like it! But we have a fig tree that, I, I mean, beautiful fig tree from a cutting that I grew. You're probably thinking, well, Zayden, how could you grow it? How did you grow it? Well, I did not use that stupid rooting hormone. All I did is I took the cutting and I put in a glass of water until it rooted, which is like a couple months. It was worth the wait, I can tell you. I planted in the pot ever since it started growing these beautiful leaves. Also, let's check on our ginger root if it's sprouting or not. Yeah, it's sprouting. That was a piece of supermarket ginger I found. And I just put it in this pot and now it's sprouting. We have papaya step. I don't know if they'll survive the winter or not. They probably will. I mean, because I, I did insulate this place really, really well. And we have apricots. Apricot trees kind of grow slow. Our potatoes look nice. I mean, we got beautiful uh, strawberries. We got more strawberries. We have more strawberries. <laughs> I love them. There's a strawberry there. There's the strawberry there. That's that one's ripe. It's just like a this was the potato thing. And if you don't know what the potato thing is, oh, wait, sorry, the the flash is on. And you probably haven't watched my channel for a long time. The potato thing is basically a sterilite bin. Yeah, I know, sterilite again. Come sponsor me. Um, you know, sterilite bin, thing drawer, single drawer. I flipped it on the side, put dirt and leaves in it, and I put potatoes, and the potatoes grew. They were really small, like boiling potatoes. It's just it's good for the family, for your kids. If you don't want a big potato, they can have some small ones, or if you have a baby, you can mash the small ones up, and feed it to the baby pretty well. So it's a pretty versatile thing. And every time I see an ant, it's bad. Because I had bad history with ants. They bite me so bad. One time, here's a little story, it's kind of off topic, but one time at my old house, I was riding my bike, you know, putting on my shoes, and then I get stung 200 times, okay? The ants were in the shoes, so, yeah. They, got, they stung me, they even crawled up my leg and stung me. So, make sure you wear bug spray around these things, and they were red ants, they were like fire ants, See that I actually won't insulate it. I didn't make a video of that. Insulating the greenhouse. And it looks good. Pretty good. And you can also see this beautiful eggplant plant in here. Um, why do people call it an eggplant plant? Trees are plants. Call it an eggplant tree. Because they do look like trees, right? This leaf is kind of. This is another eggplant. This over here is a, I, I mean, yeah, wow, there's nubs, there's little, there's little shoots coming out of it. Here's a cucumber vine that's just coming up in this bell pepper plant, but, but this bell pepper plant has flower buds galore, left and right. This is what I use for the thumbnail. That's a bell pepper flower, so maybe we'll get a few bell peppers in here. 
I mean, I did prune this cucumber plant pretty well. Um, also, there's a little cucumber hanging. I don't know if you can see that, but because the lighting. But there's there's nice cucumbers. We have tomatoes. And have more tomatoes on there. That's what that red is. I, I don't know. It's just beautiful. <laughs> and you can also tell. What was that? Oh, man, I just stepped on a truss of tomatoes. No, no wonder what that popping was. Crap, I almost cursed. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, it's not the end of the world. At least the tomatoes can make seeds. I mean, I have so many tomatoes. Look at this. This is just like, they're literally falling down and still growing. So, I have too many. <laughs> There's even tomatoes over there. I mean, this is a pumpkin vine, and this is a cucumber that's probably going to compost down. There's a cucumber- Oh, no. There's a cucumber beetle. Let's squish him. I don't have time to show y'all what they look like, but they're beetles, and they eat cucumber flowers because they're attracted to the cucurbitaceans. I think that's what M.I. Gardener said. I don't know, but I don't know if that's really true or not, but they're they're over here. Outside in the food plot, they were attracted to. There's another one. Little. Oh, he's dead. Let's have a. Let's celebrate. It's like my birthday all over again, but except my birthday is in. It's in six, seven months, so. Yeah. Okay, so we got a beautiful orange tree from seed. And if people say, well, you can't grow orange trees from seed. It's not going to taste good. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. I don't eat oranges because they're, they look they look like a bouncy ball. Ba ba ba. Whoa. Look at this. It's even making bark on it. Have you seen that YouTuber's video? Sorry if I don't I, I forgot your name, but you made a video in your in your um in your studio gaming room or something where you were showing orange trees and how to grow them. With the soil and stuff, I forgot your name, man. It's been so long since I watched you. Orange trees galore. I mean, this one's not a lemon tree, so it don't have thorns on it, but... I don't know the difference. I mean, they're basically the same. There's also a tomato here. There's just tomato in all of us. That's a luxury right there. And yeah, so, we good. We got beans... I don't know if I should pull them because they're starting to, you know, kind of rot. <laughs> yeah, so let me, let me even show you a little bonus for this video. Alright, so since it's greenhouse themed, keep this thing, you know, keep it simple stupid. That, that, um, that the kiss thing. <laughs> so, this was grown in the greenhouse. This was our... Pumpkin plant and the pumpkins on it, man! It, whoa, it's so it's growing so good. You remember in that electric culture video I made a long time ago? This tomato plant, I, I, I'm talking, it was the size of a bean. It's literally putting on so much fruit that I don't even know what to do. It's it's amazing. Also over here, this is uh, our pumpkin vine that's coming out the greenhouse. It's coming back to life. Alright, it's coming back pretty well. And I have that mesh over it to keep the, the animals out. And yeah, I did kind of mow this down. There's also, in front of our greenhouse, our blueberry bush that has the little tomato plant under it. Yeah. If you're wondering how many places this blueberry bush been in. Why is there a piece of metal on the floor? Ooh. It's been in over there where the, the heap is. It's been in a pot in the greenhouse. Yeah. And it's been over here. The last place. And I, I don't know. It's not losing its leaves or anything. Maybe it's in limbo. I don't know. Can you tell me what the heck's happening, guys? Because I, if you have blueberry bush, does this same thing happen to you? Because I don't know what's happening. Also, by the greenhouse, we got blackberries. I don't choose. You do. They're putting on so much more growth. I'm talking beautiful growth. And I'm putting them in the string that, that has the greenhouse plastic down. They're, I want them to kind of trellis up the greenhouse. And I'll probably get a chair or something when it's time to pick. 
and I'll probably pick the berries from the top. They'll probably hang down and droop over the greenhouse, and I'll just pick a berry if I'm hungry, and I'll eat it. Yes, I will. So here's... Oh, I just, I just can't stop. I gotta show you the whole garden when I start. Sweet potatoes are doing nice. I mean, there's another tomato plant over there as well. We got pumpkins. I'm talking cabbage. What's next? Beans are still flowering. This plum tree over here is actually coming back because the rainstorm did a big number on it. As well, there's black-eyed peas which are stuck in limbo. German queen tomatoes, which are starting to flower. I'm st I'm talking wow. We have potatoes, snapdragons. Experiment for sweet potatoes in a raised bed. We have German, not German queen, Cherokee purple tomatoes. Asparagus is actually starting to grow now. This used to be an eggplant bed. Probably in the winter, I'll probably make this into a, I don't know, garlic bed again. Because that's what this was. And you'll have garlic here as well. And probably a little onion, so. There's pumpkins coming on on this vine. Absolutely beautiful. And in the old garden, sorry for the little messiness, but you got peppers, tomatoes, potatoes, and more peppers. And we got a homemade AC unit and my actual AC unit. Yeah. I coined it. It looks new now. Just kidding. This thing is over 200,976,000,000 years old. I'm exaggerating a whole lot. Ooh. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Wait, sorry. Flash is on again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and hitting that nice like button. Nice ripe tomato like button. Share this video around, and if you have any questions or anything nice to say, please put them in the comments below. I would love to read from them, and I would love to heart your comments. Thanks for watching, and keep on sewing. Another bonus, I, can't, I just can't stop. Mm.